Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll try out on the highest rated screen protector for the infotainment system, which should help make it easier to remove dirt, uh, better for uh, shock damage, something falls on it. Just in general, a good protection for a very important piece uh, of the car. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the application process and give you my opinion later how it works. If you're new to the content and you like it, please support my channel. Los kids! So the screen protector itself came in a nice case. This goes around uh, the screen protector. Here is the actual uh, screen protector itself. Uh, it's quite hard. Yeah, you can see. You can hear it. Almost perfect, I would say. There are uh, a little bit of space left on the bottom and on the right, so angling it will be super important. Uh, but in general, I think uh, you'll get uh, good protection with this one. What also comes in the box is a bag here with screen protector accessories. Most important with screen protector is the preparation. So we'll be really cleaning this very well, making it completely dust free. And uh, for that I have some special wipes that I'll take out now. Uh, I got this one from Lidl, where you can clean your screen with safely. Just make sure you remove all the dirt and uh, that you also remove all the dust particles to have a pristine screen so that your screen protector will attach exactly the way it should. So clean it well, remove all the dirt, remove the dust and then your screen protector will attach perfectly. Session. So and then when you're done you need to make sure that this is on the back and then you peel this off here, see? And this you put on your screen and that should make sure that the screen protector magically uh, attaches by itself. Let's see how it goes. So I have removed the peeling and now yeah, it is very essential that I set this uh, correctly. I guess I have only one shot. Uh, so I'm gonna need both hands for that. I've now attached the screen protector and you can see the motion there how it's sucking itself to the screen. And now what I'm going to do is get uh, yeah, one more of these wipes and I'll wipe off the top and also make sure that it sets properly. Um, as you can see I think I almost did it correct. I have even lines here, even lines here. So let's put it into place further. So I have now the screen protector in place. I believe the most important part is uh, preparation. So make sure that the surface on which you put it is completely clean. I see no spots anywhere. I'm happy. Um, I've managed to clean it. Here there is, yeah, it looks like something slightly bit of an air. Uh, so you just, like with a car wrap, I guess, you just push it up towards the edges. And I'll actually go around this the screen protector. Yeah, I'll make sure that I press from the inside out. That if any air is there, uh, that then it gets automatically uh, uh, pushed out to the sides that my surface is even. So I'll continue to do this. So I've now turned the screen on. You cannot, you can hardly see the screen protector. Yeah, you can hardly see the edges where I put it. I don't see any residue on the screen. It's completely attached and as you can see, the commands are working. The touch screen is working. So I find it quite nice. When I switch the screen off, I don't see anywhere anymore any residue uh, where there is, let's say, well, I need to clean this a bit more. There's some fingerprints of me still here. But no more watermarks, moisture, no more bubbles. Um, so really take your time uh, to put this thing carefully. And what I really recommend is just before you uh, set it, that you hold it with two fingers and align it good. And then very gently just uh, let it sit like that. And then push your way from the inside to the outside to remove any air or any bubbles. Yeah, and uh, hopefully this will uh, protect uh, the screen of my car uh, better against uh, scratches and impact. Also will make it much more easier to clean. Now I don't need to be so uh, careful um, uh, what I use, but now I have this hard surface on it. So I can definitely, uh, you know, use uh, more wet wipe uh, and it should also have less fingerprints. At least that's what the seller promised. Yeah, let me know. Do you have uh, Opa Ampere, Chevy Bolt TV? Have you had any issues with the screen? 
I'm always worried for this dash cam. Huh? I mean, I've had it for four years. It has never fallen, but what if it falls? Hopefully this thing can absorb some of the impact. Yeah, and um, I hope the screen stays uh, good. Um, I'm happy with it. The application process is good. Need to see how it holds up uh, over time. Write me in the comments if you want to know. And in a week, in a few months or in a year, I'll reply to every comment. And uh, I'll put links in the description where I got this one. On Amazon and on AliExpress where I found it uh, the cheapest. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. I'm wishing you a fantastic summer. Please subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you.